They have been called the darlings of the Brooklyn bread scene. So today I am bringing you to L'Apartment 4F to find out why. Ashley, how do you go from being a school nurse, Gautier, how do you go from being an engineer to now being the owners of this bakery, L'Apartment 4F? It almost feels like an accident um, because we never set out to own a bakery. I really enjoyed his croissants and his baguettes that he would make, so I figured why not share them with family and friends. And during the pandemic, we decided one night just to put up a menu and see what happens. It quickly grew into a whole bakery. And what number apartment did you live in? 4F. I learned about you guys actually on TikTok. I saw these mini croissant cereal. We were thinking of fun rewards for our Kickstarter. We used all of the money that we saved for our wedding for uh, equipment, so we needed a little bit more. So we were thinking of fun ideas. And I said, oh, what about little croissants that people could eat as cereal? And he said no. And then one day I came home and he was just rolling mini croissants and he was like oh I'm just seeing and so I said okay I knew he would come around I posted a video on TikTok it went completely viral and then so many people ordered it that we're still a year later working on those orders and I hear that the neighborhood had a big part in you all having a brick and mortar store here on Montague Street yeah we definitely owe the neighborhood everything one week we were looking at our sales and we were like should we do this full time we were like, okay, let's go for it. And then a week later, someone from the Brooklyn Heights Association reached out to us, said that they did a survey and the residents really wanted a bakery and if we were interested. We fell in love with this location and then we signed a lease. So this is where the magic happens, huh? Okay, so tell us about the menu. What do you guys serve here? So we have uh, three categories. We have bread, uh, croissant, and cookies. That's the three things we do. I should point out that you are still fulfilling orders, so you guys currently are not taking new orders of the mini croissants. Not just yet. These are really cute. So it's fun to do on a couple one, but when we have 300 to do. Yeah, I think that. Just tell me, how long does it take to make the mini croissant cereal? Uh, it takes a lot of time. The very hard part is to roll in the croissant one night. Because each box has maybe 300 little pieces. Yeah. We're talking days. Yes. It takes days. Yeah. So we have raspberry almond croissant, we have a Nutella croissant, we have our traditional croissant, and then... These are tahini chocolate chip cookies. Oh. My. Gosh. That is the best thing that I've ever tasted. I should try the cookie too. You should try the I should try the cookie. <laughs> I said it before and I'll say it again. I am so glad that these viral mini croissants will get everybody in the door. But when you are here, this is what you can order and this is what you should order. Congratulations! Thank you. Thank you for coming. I'll be back. 